We are now hours away from the Detroit Free Press Marathon, and this year there are some big changes to tell you about, including the return to the international race for the first time in two years. Jacqueline Francis is live at the new finish line with everything you need to know. Sandra, good evening. We're about one hour away from those major road closures starting, and that's when the crews are going to start blocking off that 26 mile race route. As you can see right now, there are already some roads that are closed off around the start and finish line as the city gets ready for a race like never before. 18,000 runners are headed for the starting line in Detroit. The 45th annual Detroit Free Press Marathon is back with big changes and the return of the international racetrack, crossing the U.S. Canadian border for the first time since the pandemic. Going across the bridge and then back through the tunnel, which is an iconic part of our race that we're just so excited and thrilled to bring back this year. The new route will take runners to places never before. A lot of in-demand areas, areas that we've heard from our runners that they want to go to. Uh, the Woodbridge neighborhood, the historical Woodbridge neighborhood, we're going over there, which is great. We're going into Midtown. Uh, we're crossing Woodward for one of the first times. The list goes on. For spectators, the new route will allow them more access to watch their runners go by. To catch your runner, not only maybe at the start line, but go and, and see them in Midtown or maybe come back and see them near uh, the Dequinder cut. The 26 mile course will end in the heart of downtown. Our runners are going to finish in the city center um, for the first time. And it allows us um, to utilize campus marshes and Cadillac Square for our after party festivities. Less than 12 hours from now, runners will be crossing that new finish line behind me. An emotional moment for a lot of runners who have been training for this for months, if not a year. So we're wishing everyone good luck tomorrow. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4.